Hey, this is Yoshi, the college toy collector. This is an update on Atlas, and it's also just an update on the channel and life in general. So this will probably be the last update on Atlas, at least in this house. And then hopefully when we return to my house, we will have things fully working. So that is the goal with this. We will start the video out with an update on Atlas. And then if you're here longer in the video, I will give you an update on the channel and then life in general, because we got some changes happening. So let's just get started with some of the changes on Atlas here. They are minor changes, but also not minor changes based off of how much work it took. So if you watch the other update video, it may seem like there's not much of a difference, but there is, and it comes from mostly machined parts because the machine parts take time because I have to design them, draw them out, and then we have to go machine them in the shop. Notably, this head nod cylinder mount is new. This was machined, and then also this is the head turn cylinder clevis which is also machined and my friend and I did those and this head turn mechanism is still not done yes I would have liked it to be done but for this update video it isn't it's the very last thing that needs to be completed on this torso mechanism so it's all designed it's gonna have two cylinders mounted back to back they're gonna be mounted behind the figure and then it's gonna be able to turn this this way but the cylinders will be mounted vertically so then that way it takes up less space you don't have to worry about that horizontal taking up space so that's the plan with that that'll be done hopefully the next time you see this as for these parts in particular these are set screws and my friend really likes putting set screws in at an angle mostly because it allows more thread to be in contact in the material because at an angle the most amount of materials there so their thread has something to interact with more versus if it's on the edge personally i don't think it would matter but my friend was just preferring to have these at an angle so i guess it's fine it does what it's supposed to it's supposed to keep the part on the shaft so that's all that it needs to do so if that's fine it's fine so that's something that is new and then also the waist turn cylinders or did you here is the waist assembly right here i have the two cylinders mounted back to back at some point i will probably make a plate to put between these but at the moment they are not spinning i have it tight enough to where they're not and then this will be trimmed, but for right now, it's fine. It's not interfering with anything. When I move this, it doesn't interfere with it. I also have the hoses connected here. I differentiate the input and output by black and blue because one valve will be open by default. So I signify which valve is open by default based off of the color. So I can see in default, like which position I would like this to be in. So as you can see, one of them has black in the front, but then one of them has blue in the front that is done so for a reason. So this is what this waist turn looks like. It is very sturdy. I'm happy with how sturdy it is. Shaking it around, it's not going to fall over, which is great. And I basically use the partial threaded bolts. Pretty much there's a ton of partial threaded bolts on here which gives me the convenience of being able to use the nuts and washers to fix things in place, but then I can use the shaft collars on the unthreaded part that I need to mount a cylinder to. And then as for the other part of the waist assembly, this is the body lean cylinder, which I am pretty sure I showed in the last video, but here it is. It works great. It does do what it's supposed to, which is lean the torso up, and it's very sturdy, which is fantastic. That's something that the prototype or first figure didn't do well at all because I was still learning and figuring things out. It's sturdy alone without the waist turn cylinders, but the waist turn cylinders give this an additional access to hold on to the torso so that this is pretty sturdy when this leans and then pushes back up. That works very well. I really like how that turned out. So that's what the body lean looks like there. There we go. There's the waist turn of at least one of them. So both of the cylinders turn. This is a very simple update. It's simply just a new piece that's sturdier. This was actually just scrap material or just leftover raw material from making other parts. Right now, it's simply just an L bracket holding that in place, but there are two bolts fixing it onto the torso so it won't spin. 
but I will probably strengthen that connection at some point with a machined part or just something sturdier than just the typical L brackets. Right now it's fine, but like just for the sake of, I don't know, stability. And then here is the biggest update, probably the update I'm most excited to show you because this part has been in the works for about a month, maybe a month, I would say so. This is the K-hinge that my friend and I made in the machine shop. It looks gorgeous. My friend did a great job. I made the CAD model, provided the dimensions, the drawings, so that we were able to machine this on the manual mill. And it looks gorgeous because this is based off of the rocket fire explosion K hinges, if you recognize the shape. But what's super cool about this one is it's fully machined. There's nothing welded. This is all one solid piece. So I'll show you more angles of it, but I think my friend did a great job on this and it, it's so beautiful and it's sandblasted so the texturing is all nice and clean looking so yeah i'm very excited about the way this piece looks and we're gonna make more for future figures that i'll be making which is awesome and then we made this piece to specifically fit this size cylinder because i just wanted a cylinder that's short a short stroke it just needs to provide a little bit of animation so that there's something going on there. So the cylinder barely moves it, but it turns it just enough. These are simply just the 3D printed parts that I have. I like these. I might make another one of these that just is slightly out a bit more if I want the arm to be out a bit more. But as of now, this does work. It's just a matter of me finicking with things until I like it. It's perfect, you know? But this is, yeah, this is amazing. And then also, obviously, you see there's a lot of airlines that have been put on the figure. I do want to get some elbow fittings so that these don't stick out as far. So an elbow fitting is just like an L-shaped fitting to where you can control the direction of where the airline goes so it doesn't stick out too far. So I'm going to get a bunch of those, probably replace these. But yeah, this is probably my favorite part of the figure that I'm excited to show you is this left arm. And then obviously this elbow is still the same. This has been like this for a while. I think the difference is the clevis. So these things here, they used to just be fasteners from the hardware store, the thin steel fasteners. I just machined these ones out of aluminum. I just cut pieces and then this needs to be tightened. I just cut pieces out of aluminum and then drilled the holes. So the arms just a little closer to the upper arm if that makes any sense. This I still got to cut. I just am not at home or my basement to be able to do it right now. So all of the like cleaning up, I'll do later. Here's just a different angle. There's that elbow. There's this arm turn. And then there's this arm raise. I am so happy with this part. We spent so long on it and it looks so gorgeous. So... I could talk about this part forever and we're just gonna make more of them, which is fantastic. And we did something that I really wanted to do with this, that I kind of wanted to do with other parts, but it's okay, I'll do this moving forward, is I made this hole threaded. And that's so I could screw a partially threaded bolt in place so that the threads hold this still because it's really tight and I just thread it in and then the partially threaded part I attached a cylinder to and just put a shaft collar there to hold it in place. It just saves on the extra having to place bolts perfectly when it's just threaded to begin with. Down here for example, so these I was originally wanting to be threaded and I just forgot to when I was drilling these holes. So it's okay, it's still very tight because I have the bolts holding it in place, but if I threaded it, it would have been a lot easier because just like I showed you on that one part. Moving forward, these are going to be threaded holes too. Here's just a little bit of how my hosing looks. I have the airlines going down both legs, whichever side of the body they more conveniently lay is the way I have it. And I like it. It's going to result in two sides of airlines coming out from the bottom, but that's okay because I have an entire plan of how this whole stage will eventually look and it should be fine in terms of being hidden. The cosmetics will go over things, it'll hide things. All right, let me just hold this and show. So yeah, this is what this looks like so far. It is pretty near finished apart from that head turn. 
And then also for the head mech, let me show you it. I haven't done much with it because it is fine the way I like it. But for right now, I am going to keep the kind of Rockafire inspired head, but I already have the plans and drawings, the early drawings for what my character's head mechs are gonna look like. So here's the head mech. I have not done much with it, as you can see. It looks pretty similar, and that's because I'm pretty happy with the way it is for now, and this is kind of just a temporary head. Like I said, I plan to design my characters with their own unique head shapes to fit what I want them to be. So this is just gonna be a temporary one for once I get this all up and running, and we test this out, we maybe program something. I don't have the mouth lever on here at the moment. That's because I'm gonna make a new one. I'm either gonna make it out of metal or I'm just gonna 3D print another one with a shape that I like. As you can see, this hinge is now just two pieces of aluminum, which before, what was it before? Oh, I know, so this hinge thing used to be just L brackets before, very weak. So they're now aluminum blocks. And I just did this simply by drilling a hole centered down the top of it and then threading it so that way I can basically screw these bolts in place and it holds it in place just fine. And then as for the mount that will connect to the head knot, it is different now. I have a bar coming out the back and then there's just this male clevis here. That allows for the neck to be more of a neck and less of it used to come out from the back, but then it doesn't allow for kind of the neck to be seamless. I don't know. I just did this. We're gonna see how it goes. I don't think I intend on having this eye turn functioning anytime soon, but I will probably replace these materials, as you can see, because I haven't touched it. I don't think it's gonna really damper too much of the animation, but anyway, this works for the time that I'm gonna use it because I plan on changing the heads pretty quickly. So this is gonna be just a temporary thing or something that I put on every once in a while if I want the more uh, rock -a fire style head. All right, so that was the update on Atlas's build as of now. I'm pretty sure I covered everything that has been changed, mostly machined parts, putting things together, I guess refining the way some things are fastened. I'll still continue to do that. And then hopefully the next time you see this, it will be fully done and up and running because that is the plan. The plan is by hopefully December. I don't know, once I bring this home, then I think I think it'll be done pretty soon, which is exciting. And then we can test it out. And then I will make a more formal presentation type video once this is done, because this is gonna be a part of a pitch for a much larger project that I'm excited to eventually announce at some point. But I wanna make this the final video of this very nice and clean so that I can use it as demonstrations of what I'm capable of doing on my own and then for future projects, explaining the project from start to finish, and then what my plans are moving forward, what I've learned from the project, stuff like that. Expect that video at some point. I don't think I look very good right now, so I don't plan on showing myself. So you will just listen and uh, maybe I'll just throw some pictures up on the screen or videos. I have no idea. You can just look at Atlas for right now. The first major life update is I have graduated college. So I am no longer in college anymore. And my YouTube channel is called College Toy Collector. Now it could be a funny thing of people who know, know of the channel just being called College Toy Collector, but I'm not in college anymore. It could be kind of a thing of, oh yeah, no, it's just called that because we know. But I think I am going to do a rebrand of some sort because for my big plans, it would be pretty good to actually do a rebrand of the channel and kind of what I wanna do. I will be able to post more now that I'm not in school. I mean, obviously I have a full-time job, but school takes up more time than anything. And I think I could say that pretty well, that school takes up a lot of time. So to all my people who have been watching, Thank you for being here from the beginning and continuing to watch the videos. I appreciate it. To all the new people who don't know me, this channel is just a bit of everything in my life. It has a lot of animatronic content because that's a lot of what I do, but I never intended YouTube to be kind of an actual full-time thing or anything. It's just kind of a hobby that I do on the side, but I do intend to use the channel for some really cool things that have been in the works. But in case you don't know, I'm Yoshi. I know it's really weird that I'm talking and I'm not on screen. Hopefully that's not too strange. I don't know, that might, 
who knows. I started this channel when I was in college. Okay, I technically didn't start it because the channel existed for a very long time. If you look at the channel, it's been around since 2016 because that's when it was made, but I started it in college. Okay, I technically started it. And now I'm not in college. I graduated in December. It's December right now. I graduated like a week or two ago. And I am now an engineer. I graduated with a degree in manufacturing engineering and a concentration in lean manufacturing and then a minor in quality control and marketing. And then fun fact that was really cool is my friend who basically helped me out with all of this, all the parts and everything, my part guy, uh, graduated with the highest GPA in the engineering department, which is super cool. That was really awesome. I want to say I was like maybe third or fourth. So that's pretty cool because just knowing what his was and then what mine is, you know, my friend is off to working as an engineer in Michigan, but we are still going to stay in contact because we have plans to keep this going because my friend likes doing all the parts. I design all the parts. I send the drawings over. We get them machined and then I get them shipped back to me. We're going to continue this process even long distance. And then eventually we plan to open a shop together to where everything can be in one place. That won't be for a long time. We're talking years away, but that is the intention. That is the goal. Maybe within a decade or so, we will have our shop so that everything can be in one place. But for right now, we'll still be working together despite not being in person. I really only need the complex parts, the ones that I want made out of metal to be machined. And then everything else I can mostly do on my own. The simple just cutting aluminum square tubing I can do on my own, drilling I can do. But complex parts that I would like machined, I just, I will send my friends way. We're not stopping with making these figures. This is just the start of it. There are going to be lots more figures planned. To give you an idea of that number, I have four more of my own characters that I want to make for this band. And then I also have four more characters that I want to make. Speaking of making my own characters, at some point I will do a video that is solely just an introduction of my band Mesozoic Mayhem, kind of how it came to be, the development process, and the vision. I will do that at some point because my close friends know a lot about Mesozoic Mayhem because they're either working on it with me or they just know of it because I talk about it. But I realize I kind of just say it in passing and I've never actually made a video dedicated to the entire concept. But essentially, in short, Mesozoic Mayhem is my dinosaur rock band that I plan to build in its entirety, complete with the stage and everything in my future house. So that's the goal. So an eventual video will be made about that, the vision, and just so you can get a visual of what everything looks like at some point. I'm going to pitch this idea and hopefully we can start getting support to make this happen because this is what I did on my own budget with some help from asking for things for holidays and birthdays and stuff. But this is what I've done on my own budget and my own time as a college student where I can't dedicate my entire life to it. I can only dedicate the free time I have. So anytime I get a comment saying it's been months, have you gone to college? No. I don't. If, if you did, you wouldn't be saying that. That's how I know. That's how I'm pretty confident saying that. This is what I do in my free time. Imagine what I can do when I have a lot more free time and I have a lot more freedom as an adult and funding. If people fund the project, I can get more figures made because the number one constraint is probably just money. Space right now, but space will eventually not be the problem. It'll just be money. So the more... I can get the more I can make the figures we can do it faster and we can see the project come to life the vision come to life it will be realized it's just a matter of when that was the update I'm gonna leave it at that hopefully this isn't long I feel like I say I'm gonna make short videos and I don't think it happens so if you made it this far thank you for watching continue to stay tuned there's gonna be a lot more animatronic related stuff more of my own creations and my projects moving forward is basically what it'll be.